So what is the missing component here to the hard work equals success formula? What is that missing component? In my opinion, it's What's going on guys? This is Braden from Advancement Hockey Advising here. Today, we'll be talking about why hard work on its own generally isn't enough in hockey and in life. Now, most of you have probably seen those videos on YouTube of motivational, you know, speakers and gurus saying, you know, hard work is all you need. Just outwork your competition. Do this, do that, and you will be successful, right? You've probably seen David Goggins say like he's the hardest worker, which probably is, honestly. Stay hard, stay hard, stay hard, very hard. I'm dying. Or The Rock saying that he's, uh, you know, no one's gonna outwork him and all that stuff. Getting up at four o'clock in the morning every day before anybody else, no one will outwork me. No one. And I think there is some truth to this. I think there is some truth to saying, if you work hard, you'll achieve success. There's some truth there because hard work is a component to it. But my argument here is that it's just a component. There's a there's more to the story than just blindly working hard. Okay, there, there's more to it to, to be able to succeed. So that's why I'm making this video here is because in hockey, if you just work hard without doing the other component that we're gonna talk about, you're not really gonna get very far. But before we dive into the details, as always, just a quick reminder to absolutely smash that like button. If you do smash that like button as a reward towards the end of the video, we're gonna show you a picture of a baby kitten. All right, so stick around for that. I think you guys will enjoy seeing that if you watch the entire video here. So also too, if you're new here and if you, if you like this kind of content, you wanna see more, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. All right guys, let's dive right into why hard work alone isn't enough. So what is the missing component here to the hard work equals success formula? What is that missing component? In my opinion, it's feedback or in other words, learning. Here's what I mean by this. You can't just blindly work hard and not not receive any feedback, not learn, and expect to be successful and expect a different result and to success always come your way. That doesn't work like that. I, Albert Einstein quoted that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. It just doesn't make sense. Think about it. If you're trying to improve your skating stride and you're always like you're, you're doing a bunch of reps, you're skating, you're skating, but you always do it the same way, you're not going to improve. You're not going to change it, right? How you actually improve is one, doing the work putting the reps in, skating, but after every every session, every rep that you do, you evaluate in your mind and you learn, okay, like this didn't feel right, this made me feel weaker on the ice, this made me go faster and all that stuff. And you evaluate like that and in your next rep, you try and apply what you learn and then you will fail a bunch of times. Things won't work, things will set you backwards. It's, success isn't really a straight line, but eventually as you do those micro adjustments, you'll fail, you'll fail, oh, you'll succeed. You'll be like, oh, I did a small win here, let me keep doing that and you discover something. And then as time goes on, you do more and more work and you keep getting more and more feedback or you keep learning from there there, that's how you actually improve. And that's the message that I want to give to you guys is that you need hard work plus feedback, okay? Or learning that equals success, okay? You need the two components, not just blindly working hard and doing wasted energy. Now, a couple points I want to make here regarding that. First thing is that you need to stay humble, be open-minded and have a growth mindset. You need to have the learner's mentality, which means that you can't have such a big ego that if you get feedback or anything like that, you think you're already too good to, to learn. You think you've made it right you can't have that mindset you have to always be stay humble you want to be confident we talked about this in the past humbled confidence but basically you want to stay humble enough to be able to receive any little micro adjustments that you need to do to be able to better yourself the greatest athletes in the world have this mindset they are so great but they stay humble enough to learn and grow every day so they can stay on the top and now compete their competition next little point regarding this is that you know it is one thing to receive feedback and to learn on your own, but it's another thing to have an expert there that guides you. Having an expert guide you just saves you so much time and so much like mindless effort. It's working smarter, not harder. They're gonna point out your blind spots and all the different nuances because they're an expert in the field, the things that you can't see, okay? So if you have an expert telling you all the little things you're doing wrong, you can fix them quicker and you can receive quicker feedback. That way, because if you're doing it on your own, training on your own is one thing, but having like the coach the odd time, like maybe once a week or something like that, you know, point out your flaws and all this stuff and all the little micro adjustments you need to make, that's gonna accelerate your growth that much more than if you're just doing it on your own. So work on your own is fine, but having a coach there is is better. So I definitely really recommend this, especially in hockey, right? There's a finite window of opportunity in hockey because our bodies all deteriorate eventually and we all have to retire eventually, that because of, there's this finite window, it's that much more important to get coaching. So when you're young, you wanna have power skate coaches to, to show you how to do it properly. You wanna have stick handling coaches, shooting coaches, 
coaches, mindset coaches, all this kind of stuff. You want to invest as much as you can into coaches because they're going to teach you the way faster than if you didn't have them. So another thing that's really important to consider. If we're going to wrap up the main messages here, the first thing is hard work plus feedback slash learning equals success okay that's the main message of the video from there you need to stay humble and have a growth mindset in order for you to actually receive that feedback and learn and last thing here is that having a coach to give you feedback is super important because they point out your blind spots and they accelerate your growth all right guys that is it for the video we hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did absolutely destroy that like button and as promised if you destroy that like button earlier if you did it now here's a picture of a baby kitten all right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy that and this video all together and you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. Also too, if you have any questions for me, for us, our team, whatsoever, anything you wanna talk about, any comments that you have, feel free to drop a comment down below in the comments section. Or if you wanna to talk to us privately, send us an email at info at ahadvising.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right guys, that wraps it up here. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on that next one.